The research that I'm going to expose is application of PERT CPM to the care of pulmonary lobectomy patients. The authors are Li Chuan Li, Shi Chun Li, Kua Yun Wang, and Jen Yi Shu. The paper was published in 1999 at Journal of Medical Science, Volume 19, Issue 5, pages 273 to 283. A lobectomy is a type of lung cancer surgery in which one lobe of the lung is removed. It is also performed for tuberculosis, severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or trauma that interrupts major blood vessels near the lungs. The focus of the study was, first, the composition of a multidisciplinary team for making a pulmonary lobectomy critical pathway. This pathway was intended to identify the means of each activity, length of stay, cost, and early admission rate in which are the main focus that was addressed in the study. Second, PERT CPM was used to analyze variances of the critical pathway. And lastly, a pre-PERT CPM and post-PERT CPM was conducted. The goal of the study was intended to better utilize resources, maximize quality care, and minimize delays. We then operationally define critical path as the optimal sequencing and timing of interventions by physicians, nurses, and other staff for a particular diagnosis or procedure. The interval of the study was from April 1995 to March 1998. The creation of lobectomy critical pathway was September 1997 to October 1997 as shown in the timeline. The study was conducted at Tri-Service General Hospital. Two groups of subjects were considered first in the pre pert CPM 24 inpatients, 15 males, 7 females, age average of 58.8. And secondly, the post pert cpm 6 inpatients, where the subjects were all males, age average of 65.5. The Tri-Service General Hospital, originally known as the 801 Army General Hospital, is a medical center established in 1946 at Zhongxing District, Taipei, Taiwan. It is the teaching hospital of the National Defense Medical Center. There were six processes that were considered in the study. The first step was categorization of activities, and this include consultation, medication, tests, mobility, treatment, diet, or nutrition. The second step was creation of the data collection form for critical pathway development. This was the sample data collection form for critical pathway development in the second step. The third step was derivation and estimation of caregiver ability and patient activity times of each subject. And then, the fourth step was application of PERT to each activity. Three estimates were made. Where we have the following notations and definitions. First, TO, also optimistic time, the minimum time an activity will take when everything goes right for the first time. TM, as the most likely time, the time it would take if the same activity could be repeated independently a number of times. TP, as pessimistic time, the maximum time an activity will take, including a fresh start after initial failure. And TI, as the constant activity time. The formula was E of TI equals TO plus 4TM plus TP all over 6. Expected activity time, E of TI of each activity, and 
S of Ti equals Tp minus To all over 6. For the standard deviation, S of Ti of each activity. The second to the last process was the development of PERT CPM network and evaluation of data and determination of probabilities of change. As what we can see, the critical activities were identified with their corresponding most pessimistic, optimistic, most likely and expected activity times. The critical activities were highlighted in bold mark box as well as the critical pathways. We can see the list of activities under expected computed, expected time estimates, the standard deviation, and the variance. The last process was a post-PERT CPM study was established. A statistical analysis was also conducted. So by using students' t-tests, were used to compare pairs of independent means of each activity, the length of stay, cost, and early admission rate. After all the process were done, the results of the study are the following. First, the lobectomy critical fat pathway and its implementation provides information to come up quickly the speed of the service runs and what stage the patient should be on a given day. It means that physicians found out it was not difficult for patients to finish all of the activities of the lobectomy. This provided a shorter length of hospital stay without compromising the patient's health. There was a significant difference between the two groups in the number of pre-operation days, length of stay, and admission rate. Thus, they were able to determine the best practice. There was a reduction in the cost of hospitalization, but was not statistically significant. There was also an important contribution from non-physician staff members in the formulation of care policy and their individual contribution to the clinical pathway.